Yo, what is up guys, TPF here, and today I'm doing a Final Cut Pro tutorial on how to do a muzzle flash. Uh, some things you're going to need are a... ...16 point mask, which you can get off of um, any plug-in sites, and uh, yeah, it's basically it, so we'll get straight into it. So, first, obviously, what you're going to do... Uh, you've got to get your clip that you want to uh, obviously make the muzzle flash on. Now the first step is going to be to actually find out where you want your guy to shoot. So you can just do what I'm doing. If you're using a gun that makes a noise, listen for the click. That's usually when everybody simulates the recoil when the click of the gun goes. So find that section and uh, command B for blade, cut that in half, split it there and then that's that. Then you're going to want to get a uh, muzzle flash, depending on which angle you're from, that would be a side on view. This is like front 90, uh, 45 degrees, sorry. That one you saw before was a front muzzle flash. Now what you're going to want to do is cut this into a f uh, one frame. So if you go right at the start of the picture, just tap the uh, arrow key once and then command B. That's your one frame muzzle flash and that's what you're going to need. So <clears throat> you're going to want to turn on the split key, which is, uh, you'll see me click it in a second, I'll tell you. And then you're going to want to line it up with that pit, uh, that clip, and then go on to blend mode and click add. This will get rid of the black background for you. So now all you're going to really want to do is just resize and rotate so it fits the area that you're in. Like so. Um, yeah, yeah. so then you can scan through, make sure it's in the perfect place, and then when it is, what you want to do is just bring the opacity down slightly so you can see the background roughly. Go onto your effects tab, click on blur, and then find the gorge on blur, and put that on, and then you get a nice muzzle flash blur. That's a bit too much at the moment, but if you just tone it down slightly, it should look perfect. Uh, like so. Maybe just tune up the opacity a bit. And yeah, there we go. So, now comes the more sort of advanced part. And that's going to be to light up the area that's in uh, like the muzzle flash, because when you pull the trigger, obviously the flash is going to create a uh, flash around you. Oh, I deleted that by accident, sorry. So go from the uh, start of the muzzle flash and count in two frames, so two arrow clicks to the side. Blade that and copy and paste it on top, like I've done there. And you're going to want to get a 16 point mask plug in, you can find that anywhere, and put that on the top clip. <coughs> Now this is a pre-recording so some stuff might be out of time. I'll just warn you now this part's a bit laggy so you might not see what I'm doing properly. But basically... So just carry on masking around that area uh, where the flash would be. So that's going to be around his head, um, around any clothing nearby, generally the arms and... You're going to want to put the hands with a bit of uh, masking around there along with part of the gun. This example's of my mate. Uh, this was part of an upcoming trailer called... Uh, bloody hell, I've forgotten what it's called. It's my own video. <laughs> uh, the Snatcher. Something like that. Swiper, yeah, that's the one. The trailer's up on my channel. The full production will be up soon enough. But, um, yeah. Check it out if you can. And I'm just going to speed this part up because it's going to take ages, so I'll speak in a second, guys. Okay, so we're back. Once you've got that area, um, I'm just showing you what this square does here. That just moves all the points around, so if you want to adjust every single bit slightly, you can just move that square. Um, so now what you want to do, scroll down into the colour section and press that little arrow on the right there. Now, go into exposure and lift this part here up. Not too much, as you'll see it will load in a second. You're going to have it just a bit over where it is usually. 
so you get a nice sort of bright white. You can adjust anything else if you want, you know, you can bump that up. Uh, probably what you're going to want to do once I finish this, go into saturation there, bump that up just slightly just to get those colours in that area popping. Go to colour and you're going to want to get the global thing which is that one there and put it to a sort of yellowy orangey colour as like that's the same colour as the muzzle flash. If you want to be like really good at it you could look at the colour of the actual muzzle flash and like perfectly put it to that. But um, yeah so now what you've got is that with the lighting up face as the muzzle flash goes on. Obviously if you want to do it more professionally you can have the colour fade out as it's going. So I'm just going to render this out and show it to you. I'll warn you now it doesn't actually play back properly but I do do it in frames in a second. So you'll see <clears throat> if you play it from there. Oh well you got it sort of. That's what it's like anyway. Sometimes if you do the muzzle flash one frame long, it doesn't come up. I'm not sure why that is, but you can make it two frames. It looks normal anyway. And the last step basically is just to get any gun sound effect you want of obviously a pistol that sounds like convincing. Here I've got uh, a Call of Duty sound pack. And I'm just using the 5.7 as the example. Um... So yeah, you're going to want to cut that to the exact point. For some reason it doesn't cut at the exact point where I want it to. But if that doesn't happen, you can just mark up where the gunshot actually happens, which you can see where that vertical like shoot upwards, that's the start of the gunshot. And just mark, uh, level that with the start of the muzzle flash, as, you, as you'll see I'm doing now. Join that together, like so. Just cut that down a bit so you've got the gun echo, but apart from that, that's it. And I believe I do a playback again here, but it doesn't work. Also, something quite important is to lower the sound of that, because sometimes uh, there's background noise that you really don't want in there, especially if you're making a trailer, you're going to want to mute the sound. Yeah, you don't really see that too well. But scanning through with the arrow keys looks pretty all right. Um... So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, just check the time on my recording here. Yeah, that's about it. You can add a smoke effect sort of thing if you really want. Just search one up, get one off the internet. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I'm not really sure what the next tutorial will be, but hopefully it will be something good. And, um, yeah, that's TPF done. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.